to immediately show this when I found it out. Uh, so this is just a, a quick video. In fact, I, I'm in such a hurry to show it to you before I go off to work that I didn't even change out my retro terminal. There's some debate about whether people were going to get angry that I didn't do that or not. So let us know in the comments whether you like, whether it's okay for us to leave the retro terminal on <laughs> for quick and dirty videos or to turn it off. I mean, we definitely want consistency when there's coding involved, but there's no coding involved here. This is just a... This is just a video to show you how to set up your OBS so that dun, 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 you can have the music taken out of your VODs. This is actually supported by Twitch. And I'll put the related links in here at some point, but, but let me just show you what to do. It's like so freaking easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. I'm kind of embarrassed I didn't know about it. First of all, you got to make sure you have an OBS version 26.1 or higher. I think it's 26.0 or higher, but make sure you have the latest, okay? And this is Pop OS, so this is this is a Linux thing. This is not a Windows thing, which is even more amazing. So, so down here, I mean, you know, you got your normal things, right? You don't have to do anything fancy different. The only the only thing you have to do is stuff you might already know. So we click on settings, and you click on output, and there's this thing here: enable advanced encoder settings, right? You have to click that on, and you have to click on Twitch VOD uses track two. Okay. And if you're out there reading about this, you probably will find a bunch of writing about plugins that allow you to do this. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't need that. And there's, there's, it may be a good thing still. I might add it later, but, but for right now, I don't need it. You know why? Because this, I can go into my sound right here. So there's desktop audio, right? And I'm not going to put any music on here because it would cause this YouTube video to be demonetized or whatever. Um, oops, I just got a message to my phone, which made a lot of noise. Sorry about that. All right, so so if I so watch if I click on this, this little gear right here by the thing. Okay, th by the way, another thing, this doesn't work if you're doing some kind of fancy craziness with your soundboard where your mic and your desktop audio are mixed. And I was doing that so I could listen to the exact volume levels, and I've since stopped doing that so that my mic is on its own channel. Which this is a soundboard, by the way, coming in. And this is the desktop audio. This is everything. This includes your gaming sound. It includes any sound coming to desktop audio. And if you're asking the question, well, what if you only want Spotify to be listed out? Uh, we'll talk about that in another video. There's a way to do that. Um, so, but, but this is the easiest first step, right? So you go turn those things on. I told you in settings and you click on the gears and you come down here and you go to advanced audio properties. That's the thing you turned on, right? And you should probably know about advanced audio properties anyway, because this, this is, if you're not, you, you, you should be already messing with this. So I'll talk about this maybe in another video, but this is how you get your mouth to match whatever delay you have in your specific audio. Then we, this video is not about that. And um, you can turn off audio monitoring, which I don't fully understand to tell you the truth right now, but, but here's where the real magic comes. So all you have to do is turn off track two. I kind of rhymed. All you have to do is turn off track two. Turn off track two. Anything that goes to track two will be saved in your VOD. Anything that doesn't go to track two is not saved in your VOD. So that means, now there is obviously a big disadvantage of this. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about some of it later. So I, I don't want people to have to mute the, like their entire gaming session stuff. If you do this, the only thing that will be in your VODs will be your mic. Anything that comes through your mic. And so don't do this initial beginner step unless you're absolutely sure. I have no problem coming in here and turning it back on when I have desktop sound that I want to cover. So like if I'm, um, you know, if I'm doing any, any, you know, any of my clips or stuffing, you know, I, you guys know I love clips. So what's a clip we could do that's really, that's really, that's really fast. I'm trying to find one that's appropriate. <laughs> I have a ton of clips. Which one should we do, guys? Uh, oh, how about how about forty-four? I think it'll be fine. I think it might be too low, actually. Yeah, let's turn the sound up. Actually, so yeah. So here, the funny thing is, is watch when I do this. This this will be in the YouTube video, but the clip I'm about to do will not be in the VOD. And I kind of want to do this to prove the point. You know, that's so this, just like uh, your, your opinion, man. Man. I can so I can just voice what he says, right? So that was MPV that played that, and and it played it just fine. 
but it did not save it to the VOD because it was coming from the desktop audio. And that could be my Dota 2 game sound. It could be anything. It's not going to work. But I'm still okay with it. I know that's because of how simple this was to set up. So I'm done with this video. Um, you know, you just click here. You click on Advanced Properties. You turn off Track 2. And then you make sure that um, in the output you have Enable Advanced Encoder Settings and Twitch VOD Track Uses 2. Uh, that just snuck in there on me and I didn't know it was even there. It's been there the whole time. And now what? Now you're not going to get demonetized. You're not going to get DCMA takedowns. You're not going to get your videos, you know, thing. Of course, if you're going to upload your video to YouTube, that doesn't help you, right? Because, uh, you know, so this only allows you to have music and stuff and, and uh, YouTube clips and stuff like that in your live stream. It just prevents it from ever getting saved anywhere unless you explicitly save it. So, you know, if I ha I'm going to have automatic, uh, you know, I, I want to eventually have, you know, VOD pushes that go right to YouTube and, and I'm going to keep doing that. But but I don't know, I'm probably still going to do individual recordings like I do now. I click on record and just record the YouTube videos and upload them separately. Uh, also, because I want a copy of the backup video, so I have the video videos on disk in case something goes wrong, and I can, I want to move to another service or something. That's a different video for that. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll try to read them. I'm getting better at that, but who knows? Otherwise, just come on in and say hi to us, and we'll, I'll turn the amber off when it matters. Bye.